This mod overhauls the nether by adding a few new mobs and items. The mobs are Warped and Crimson Shroomling. Two totally passive adorable little creatures, both are very friendly, you can move them with a bucket. Basalt Snail. A passive mob, found in Basalt Delta's biomes, it dropped one basalt and one ember snail loot. Veneficus. A very powerful little magician, he has several attacks like removing your vision, he can also make levitate. He is also able to teleport you randomly. There are also some items. The Veneficus Hat. It will teleport you for some XP with a 30 seconds cooldown. Basalt Snail Shells eat the shells and they will give you a strong resistance effect. The Mushroom Hat will save you from fall damage. Just a Slingshot is a mod that utilizes many different vanilla items as ammo types. Best used as an offhand weapon. To use the slingshot you hold the slingshot in one hand and hold right click with your ammo in the other. The ammo items are Pebble, made with cobblestone and a crafting table. Nuggets, ingots, gems, raw ores, seeds. And the enderpearl, using it with the slingshot will bring you even further. To use the slingshot pouch just crouch to scroll through your items and select one. The slingshot shoots just as far as a bow but is quicker too. The sleep anywhere mod is a convenient addition to Minecraft that allows players to sleep anywhere they want without the need for a bed. To maintain game balance and prevent abuse, the mod introduces configurable debuffs when sleeping. These debuffs include hunger, nausea, blindness, darkness, mining fatigue, weakness, slowness. Adds the sawmill a block like the stonecutter, but for wood variants. Also introduces variations of bookshelves, ladders, beehives, and chests, as well as introduces boards and leaf piles. This simple mod adds 8 new vanilla style art paintings to the game. This mod overhauls the swamp generation, adds new mechanics, and improves existing features. With this mod, you can finally turn the swamp biome into what it should have been. There are new plants, huge lily pads, and poisonous clouds rising from the water. The mod also adds the new firefly mob for some nice atmosphere. Wilderness is a mod that aims to improve forests and other wild areas of the game. The goal of the mod is not to change vanilla forest biomes, but rather to add new ones to increase variety. There are two biomes. Old Growth Forest, a rare forest variant with tall oak trees overgrown with moss. Mixed Forest has both oak and spruce trees, usually generates between taigas and forests. Bookworms adds bookworms to your forests, lizards that come in a variety of colors. You can herd them for their meat and colorful scales, using plain books to breed them. Most importantly, you can feed them unwanted enchanted books to recycle them into new random enchanted books. Worms come in seven colors, each with a different pool of enchantments they can provide. Additionally, worms have genes that can be improved or worsened and passed on to future generations. Use the bookworm analyzer to see these stats and breed them strategically to obtain your perfect specimens. Legend said that many piglins invaded the overworld. You can now find ruins caused by the war with an interesting look. There are also many new portal underground variants. You will be able to find a deep slate, a lush cave, and a dripstone cave portal. There are now even larger ruined portals in the overworld, offering much more and better loot. In the nether you will find a new large castle structure. 
The piglins guard the large portal there, but there's also plenty of loot. Unusual Fish Mod adds a plethora of fictional fish and other aquatic creatures to the game, as well as new gear, blocks, and foods. The unusual fish from this mod can be found in many of the game's aquatic biomes. Many of these fish will drop their item form when killed, which can be cooked into a fish fillet or crafted into one of the culinary delicacies this mod adds. Alternatively, enchanting a fishing rod with the unusual catch enchantment will allow the unusual fish to be caught, among other items. Craft a sea spine block to defend your underwater base, collect ripper teeth after they prey upon another fish, feed a sea pancake for a rare weather shell, or use the volt detector block to track nearby volt anglers for a redstone signal. There are also some new weapons like the new spear that you can throw at your enemies. The saw is a strong new weapon with a high attack speed and really good range. The mod also adds new stuff for builders. There are two new block pallets and a new lantern. Underground Jungle adds an underground jungle biome and an underground jungle temple inspired by the one in Terraria that contains new blocks. Two new mobs and a new set of tools that can be found inside the temple. The underground jungle biomes tends to generate below hot and humid biomes such as jungles, but might generate under other biomes as well. The biome consists in patches of mud and jungle grass, a lush green grass that can spread to mud blocks and keeps the same green color in all biomes. The temple is a rare structure full of traps found in the underground jungle. Every temple has a treasure chest and a temple key that you need to open the treasure chest. The treasure chest will contain one tool from the temple set. These tools can mine every block in the vanilla game. They are faster than any vanilla tool, and they cannot be destroyed by explosions, but they have a lower durability. Jungle zombies can spawn in the underground jungle biome, and mossy skeletons can spawn inside the temple. Both these mobs can inflict the poison effect to players if they are hit. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you have any mod suggestions. Check out the description to find the links to all mods and leave a comment if you have any questions.